the theme of the exhibition in Aix-en-Provence, which is really a wonderful exhibition with a lot of, for me, unknown pieces, is about the intimacy of Yves Klein. You are the best person to, to know about the intimacy of Yves Klein. But I spoke with Elena Palumba, who was one of the models, and she said he was extremely secret. Was he secret? Yeah, I think he did not speak too much with people when he thought uh, uh, there was a long way to go to make them really understand something, you know, but it's not uh, so very difficult, but it's uh, uh, delicate. Yeah, it's, no time uh, it's, uh, yeah it's very um, sensitive and uh, delicate. Yeah, and it, uh, loved a lot of girls uh, were making fun of him, you know, saying, oh, you're doing all this blue, well, what are you doing now? And uh, it's always, uh, <laughs> it's like for them always the same and it didn't mean anything for them, you know. So uh, I came from uh, Germany when I met him. I was uh, uh, very close with my brother and uh, Group Zero and all this uh, modern, I mean, I was used to to this art and when I saw his work in uh, uh, an exhibition uh, in the vitrine only I saw I was just coming by by accident and I saw the blue monochromes and for me I just uh, uh, thought that was absolutely incredible I, I could uh, feel it and uh, sense it uh, it was uh, for me very easy because it was more my world and uh, but it, it was at that time it was hard to find people who uh, were not. It is thought always uh, there was a lot of people saying that thought he was a um, charlatan, and uh, I was so upset about how they could talk about his art in this way about him, you know, because it was really very very delicate. Uh, I understand, but uh, uh, you can't say. It something so serious for him mm. uh, to, to treat people like this, you know, it hurts. It, uh, I hurt <laughs> for him, if I felt it was uh, very, very hard for me to, to oh. see that. What about the ant anthropometry? I've been told that you participated to some anthropometry. Yeah, sometimes he, he was not having a model, so I, I, I love to, to do it for him, so I uh, of course, we, we, we did uh, some of the prints with me, but it was just uh, private, very private. Yeah, because there's no movie about you in doing some anthropology. No, I'm not uh, in any photos, no, in that, uh, in, in outside, yeah. There's, in the exhibition, there's the ex voto coming from Santa Rita de Caccia. Yeah. Could you tell me the story? You, do, you, 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 are, you know the story, right? Yeah, of course, I was with him when we went to St. Rita there and uh, where he disposed it, posed it and uh, that was a gift for the... And he, he did write all his little prayers in it. And uh, so, but that was so kind of... I was, that was secret, I must say, for, uh, because he, uh, he just uh, left it there and... Uh, he, he, uh, I think it's a it's a nice thing because um, everything you do does exist, you know, even if it's lying somewhere. And uh, and I also am very happy that finally it was discovered from uh, outside, not from me, that I had to tell somebody that's there, you know. So I I never was uh, even Daniel. He never asked me. I was never telling him. It was something that was his own thing, you know, from Eve. I, I, I respected that and I didn't want to to pull this out like and anything. So who, who discovered it? Was it? A beautiful thing. Huh? Who, who uh, is, now, is, uh, there was an architect who had to restore the, the church and uh, he was missing some gold and the one of the uh, nurses, uh, uh, the, the uh, None. Uh, Nuns uh, was uh, saying, "Oh, I have seen some gold. I have seen some gold. Where did I see it? Oh!" And then she went away and tried to find what she was uh, had seen before. And uh, 
she come back and said, "Here, this is there's there's the, the box and there's some gold in." And then he uh, he saw that and he understood that was from me Klein, and uh, and he called Restani right away. Wow! And the uh, Restani called Daniel, uh, Daniel, and Daniel talks to me. And he, Why didn't you never tell me about that? I, I mean, when I said to, yeah, I know, I know it was just there, but <laughs> so. Uh, it was, um, <laughs> I mean, uh, I really thought that it was not from me coming this kind of thing, and it, and it happened. Uh, and I think everything happened when it has to happen, you know, in a way. Uh, is, is there other ex voto in the world that he let in some churches in other places? Oh, uh, that's not for me to say. <laughs> <laughs> The secret <laughs> will be kept. <laughs> <laughs> but no. the message, the no, no, I don't know. I really don't know about that. But but the the message he wrote on the ex voto is beautiful, huh? Yeah, it's very beautiful. Yeah. Do you have the feeling that he was so in hurry, rushing, and that he he could die young? Yes, uh, in '58, when he he had uh, just uh, done his uh, show in uh, end of '57, I think, or something like that, uh, the Devoid in Iris Claire, and he was uh, very very intensely occupied with uh, the void, with the material, and. Um, he 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 said one night he told me that uh, he was just before he went to Gelsenkirchen again that he thinks he will die very soon. Wow! And he had really very very dark eyes and kind of glassy like he was he could cry but he did not. Uh, very very serious and I. I saw him like this. I said, Eve, this is incredible what you're saying. I mean, I, I could just not uh, catch this. Like, <laughs> it was serious, you see. It was really serious. Of course. Uh, so he, he sensed that. Uh, it's really, really incredible this, um, that he, he could uh, <laughs> Out what will be in the future and at the time. Yes, because he was a visionary. Right? Yeah, he was really a visionary. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And, but the fact that he was rushing to do so much, for me, it's really the expression of the fact of his fragility, that he had the feeling he could die soon. Yeah, this is, uh, he was in a hurry, yeah, definitely. The show, the show is so beautiful. I have seen it in FaceTime, and I saw, I saw it has been done really with a lot of caring and professional uh, exactly. also, really well done. I like it very much. I'm so sad that I could not be there then. Uh, <laughs> Merci beaucoup. But, Merci. Uh, yeah, <laughs> welcome. <laughs>